So hey guys, today I'm gonna be uh, reviewing the Ace Iona, but you guys already know that because of the title. And I apologize, I'm a little bit sick, uh, so I'll get started right away. Uh, on the facts of the Ace Iona, it's a 3 inch blade, uh, thumb stud on both sides, FRN, textured FRN uh, handles, 4 inches, uh, stainless steel hardware, wire clip, uh, reversible wire clip. Um, overall weight is uh, 2.9 ounces, so just under 3 ounces. Uh, it's a pretty lightweight knife. I'm sorry for the reflection. Uh, yeah, it's of the latest available in this satin grind and on a stone wash, and the handle is available on this green and on a really nice blue. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, and it's $100 for M390 uh, steel. Stainless hardware, FRN handles, uh, liner, full liner on one side, and a partial liner on the right side, I guess. Um, on the positives of this knife, and the thing I, I absolutely love is the blade. And this is what I keep hearing, people love this blade, and how it functions, and how it works out. Uh, so it has a little bit of flat right here, and then it goes into a little bit of belly, and then a point. And it's a really good point because it's also tapered up here. Um, so I really like it. It's really functional. I'm a construction worker. Uh, I cut some ropes sometimes. Uh, open up cat packages a lot. Open up uh, boxes a lot. And I just pull out this knife and I go to town. Oh, um, you know, almost every day I make three, four, five cuts on something. You know, rope, boxes, whatever. Um, Another good thing about it, it's it's M390 steel, which is really good. Um, I don't think that my mine will sharpen as good as others because mine is dull as hell right now. Well, it, kind of, it cuts, you know, but it's because it cuts because it kind of has a thin and a tall, taller grind. It's not a full flat grind, it ends right there. But it's a pretty tall grind, and it's a 2.85 millimeter uh, thick blade, so. Um, but yeah, Positives is a great blade, M390, um, and it's beautiful, to be honest. Um, another positive about this part of the knife is that it has removable thumb studs, so if you live in a part of the world where you can't have um, one hand opening if you take off the thumb stud which by the way they give you the tool it it's now a two hand opening knife which is really nice and I learned that from uh, a buddy of mine CDC, on Instagram uh, he's the one that told me about it because over there you can either have locking uh, knife or a single hand opening knife next uh, good thing uh, phosphor bronze washers and that is a good thing because I have uh, my Guru right here, which is honestly a better action, a better opening, smoother, but it's on bearings, which means I'm always uh, using the compressor and throwing some air in there. I'm always taking it apart and cleaning it. You know, I'm always trying to run some water there because there's always something in there because again, I'm a construction worker. I, don't know, I work around dust. <coughs> Next uh, good thing is the actual clip it works well it's pretty deep it's not um tactical it's not black it's just a good clip and um the other thing i love about it is the quality control i think because they're all pretty much really well centered oh and it's really nice how that is centered and it locks at 50 percent and it kind of gives it a symmetrical look to it because the notch that is cut out right there is also cut out on the other side and it locks at 50 percent that is just nice uh, so we'll go for the negatives now all right on the negatives um, and the negatives are pretty much gonna be down here <laughs> and anybody's gonna tell you that there's been a lot of comments about the feel of this knife on the handle and 
I'm gonna start actually with the learning curve because of the geometry of the pivot and the thumb stud there's a little bit of a learning curve because what you usually want to do is like open it outward it's kind of hard with the camera but usually you want to open the knife outward um, but with the Ace Iona because again now the pivot and the thumb stud are aligned you have to push straight up so it took me a while to get that but now I can do like index finger middle finger and all that and opens pretty well I can even open it on uh, one hand slowly and I can open it with uh, gloves on which is good because I'm a construction worker and it's kind of cold out now uh, so yeah in the negative there's a learning curve and not everybody's gonna like that um, but it took me like a week to get the fossil bronze to smooth out and for me to just learn that and um, the other thing is the air goes are kind of weird and you know yeah air goes are not important you know if you're just gonna pull out your knife and uh, do a single cut and you're done this actually this is one of my favorite ergo knives for some reason uh, except for the clip but the clip now is uh oh no we're not talking about this knife <laughs> uh the air goes are kind of weird um for me and i'll tell you why um when i grab the knife here like this these two fingers feel empty like there's nothing but air there because of the curve so that's just weird to me every time I grab it I notice it and it's not like a thing that goes away either like you get used to it it's just weird uh, the other thing um, I have medium to small hands and you know I always get sharpness here from this part of the handle and I get sharpness down here so like there's two things poking back at me and obviously the clip but I don't mind the clip clips are usually a bad ergo thing so I'm not gonna complain about that but this part up here and this part down here it's not good and then you get the weirdness on the two fingers so and um, I don't mind that much sometimes I grab it up here and I use this as finger choil when I'm cutting down boxes because when you're cutting down boxes and you're grabbing it down here they snag on the choil so I choke up up here sometimes which it gives me personally enough space to put my finger there and it's not that sharp down there that I'm scared. So when I sharpen it, I'm going to start sharpening it like an eighth to three sixteenths away from that choil. So I can still grab it from up here. Up here is not too bad. But yeah, this thing is kind of sharp too. So sharp, 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 empty. And that's the ergos. Um, the choil again is kind of weird on the negative side because uh, it's kind of big. But too small for a finger so you know i don't personally like that some people don't like choice at all you know yeah that's personal preferences but i like this it's got a big choil down here and it's got a big choil up here so you know i like that um the other thing mine came with an imperfection on the tip on this side i believe i don't know if i can get it on the camera no it's the other side so you can see that side, you know, it goes pretty even down here, down here, and then on the tip, it gets a little bit bigger. On this side, it's pretty even, this side's thicker on the tip. So uh, I don't mind, I'm gonna sharpen it, reprofile it, etc. Um, the other thing is, some of them came with a lot of oil out of the box. Um, you know friends from Instagram and I would just talk, we'll keep talking about this knife because it's like the big thing right now the first uh, video I uploaded of this knife got like 400 views and I usually get like 20 <laughs> but um, yeah the QC on these are not as good as the other um, giant mouse knives which again it's a hundred dollars with M390 steel pretty grateful that they did that because otherwise it would have taken a lot longer for me to try out M390. So I'm pretty grateful. And if, you know, they have to step down a little bit on their QC. You know, I don't mind personally because, again, I can sharpen it. And if, like, something's loose or not tight or something, I can, you know, play with it and get it right. So, and it's, this is not, like, for people that are not into knives. I mean, Giant Mouse Knives is kind of a small company. They're always running out of knives. And it's just for, like, 
Knife Geeks. So, you know, I, you know, uh, those are my thoughts on this. It's $100, so I don't mind if it comes with a little bit of oil out of the box. Um, and I don't mind if, like, it's sharp and a little bit weird. For $100, I'm pretty happy with that. But anyway, we're talking about the ugly or the negatives, and that's about it. I love everything about the knife. It performs well. Construction worker, this is a construction worker kind of knife, except for the partial liner. But, you know, I it doesn't scare me too much because of how they built this, the handle. Like, it's almost like a um, integral, where, like, the spacer is the same piece as the this scale. And so, like, this whole thing is a bigger piece of plastic rather than having one big thin piece of plastic like it has a bigger piece in there so that strengthens it a little bit i believe i'm not an engineer construction worker uh and it has a liner all the way down to here so liner and then big chunk of plastic and three screws by the way they give you the tool and they're the same size which it's positive uh in conclusion it's a good knife for a hundred dollars it's smooth performs well works well Works well with gloves, everything I've done with it. Uh, purposefully, I didn't test it. Like, I didn't go out of my way to use it. Again, I'm a construction worker, so I use a knife every day. Uh, usually, I cut boxes with a box cutter. Uh, you know, utility knife with a utility blade. Uh, because this thing is not a box cutter. Look at the difference in uh, the thickness. This is 2.8, um, 8.5 millimeters. And I don't know what this is. Uh, but it's pretty thick and it won't cut down a box uh, comfortably which I don't mind I really like the Guru um, but this one well I might be selling this I don't know I haven't made up my mind yet um, because it's nice to have M390 for a hundred bucks but that's my review and size comparison Ace of, Sp Ace of Spades Ace Iona alright Thanks for watching, you guys. And again, I recommend this knife if you're a knife guy and, you know, you're not out there batoning. <laughs> and if you're willing to put up with a little bit of the QC issues and a little bit of the learning curve.